With a child killed every five weeks in this country, what can we do? Eight Māori female directors have decided to tackle the abuse head-on with a powerful and challenging feature film, Wadu. And one of those directors joins us to tell us more. Welcome back to the cafe, please. Katie Wolf. Woo! Great to have you here, Katie. Yeah. OK, so this is a pretty heavy subject, which would have been a pretty heavy movie to make. But can you tell us briefly the storyline? Well, it's... It's, it's about um, a day in um, uh, where a young boy, um, Waru, who is um, at, his, at his tangi, and each film within um, the, um, the collection is um, set on that day in exactly the same time. So we just relive the same 10 minutes over and over. And with all the stories, of some are very close to the tangi, some are much further away, but it is based around the death of a child. How did that work? How, how did you work it through? There's, there's eight strong, powerful women in a room looking yeah. at a really heavy subject. It was a, we, we spent um, five days together on, in a retreat. And I remember when we first sat down, we were, you know, someone kind of quipped, like, can we change the subject matter? Because we knew we were yeah. in for one hell of a ride. But we didn't. We sat down and we, we started talking about child abuse and... Um, in this country and it was a, sometimes a very painful experience and um, but we through that we then started to develop all the ideas around Waru and how the story was going to play out and we were very much involved in each other's films we'd go away we'd talk about what we wanted to do we'd come back we'd talk about how um, we wanted to go with other people would feed in and, and that um, was kept up right throughout the process. So, um, so you all had a hand in each of your segments, I guess. We were very much autonomous in how we were going to do it, but we were very supportive to each other's films. And of course, you notice all the way through that the films slightly link up, yeah. and the, mm -hmm. all these things sort of developed as they went through. And so, suddenly we could see where, where, where something was happening in one film, it could be reflected in another film. And that, that was actually a really interesting part of the process. And it came and across quite cohesively. It did, yes. well. yeah. 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 And let's talk about some of those, because it is a very powerful movie. In fact, I think it's probably the most confronting movie I've watched about Māori culture since Once Were Warriors. Yep. I don't know how you'll take that. Yeah. Um, but there were some powerful performances, yeah. not only from the adults, but also the young people I know, as there's, well there's like, there's um, 27 children in it. And it's, you know, and it was, and of course, if there's, you bring eight women together to write and direct a movie, there's going to be children there. And um, so children were very important in that story, and some of the child performances are extraordinary. But also all the women who play the leads in each of the film, you know, they're some of our best Māori actresses, and they are, they are truly phenomenal, aren't they? Some of the performances oh, are... incredible, yeah. yeah. OK, so what was the main mm. message that you wanted to leave the audience with when you watch it? Because I don't know... When I, when I finished watching it, I didn't know how to feel. I, I felt confronted, I felt angry, I felt a little embarrassed too, actually, mm. being, being Māori. Um, but I also felt quite empowered that the story was being told the way it was. So how do you want people to leave after they see it? I guess, I guess that is going to be up to the audiences. What we wanted to be to do was be authentic. Right. And I really hope that the audiences can go away and ask themselves, how can I be part of healing this issue we have in New Zealand? And I hope that the film actually does throw some options out there, helps us ask the right questions mm -hmm. to find those pathways towards healing. And I think they're in the film. Mm. Yeah. They are. And you have to actually expose them in order to, to provoke those questions. Because we were talking before, um, one of the, the young female actresses um, who plays Muri. 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 Oh, my okay, goodness. Happy is her name. Oh, yeah. incredible performance yeah, from Cinema her. dynamite, we call that. Yes. <laughs> <She's> a... <laughs> she, it, she does the monologue uh, yeah. to an abuser, basically, and, mm. and it is absolutely heartbreaking. But it also pointed to me about community coming together because a lot of, a lot of the girls then come behind her and around her, basically yeah. in case her and pushing her forward and mm. and all standing together and I think that to me was really strong yes. and, and that was about breaking silence yeah that often people who live in abuse it is a very it is a very silent realm to live in and they don't feel that they can speak and in, in seeing her courage which is incredible yeah and then seeing that she ha does have the support there's a there's queer there and, and there are women her own age there who are finding that ability to stand up very like Beth mm -hmm. at the end of Once mm -hmm. Were Warriors, an mm -hmm. amazing moment where she stands in the car park and says, you will not right. hurt my babies anymore. And it is, it is about bravery and it is about 
giving license to people to find their voice. Yep. Yeah. And, mm. and the wailing at the end, you know, a beautiful showcase of Māori culture too, I thought. So, the, you know, there's even a little, you know, I mean, there's even elements of a little bit of humour yep. in it, yeah. which is good <laughs> as yep. well. Um, I, I, how do you think, Katie, Māori are going to react to this movie? Well, I, I hope, first of all, that they see that it's authentic. And I really hope that we're able to look, look and, and, and celebrate that our stories are out there. But also show that, uh, that, that in finding that true voice, that you know, we, we, we believe that, there is, that, that it's positive and we can keep moving forward. And of course, it may be contentious because it is a really hard mm, thing to mm, confront. Yeah, it's going to be talked about. It yeah. is going to be talked yeah. about, but that, that's only a good thing. Yeah, can true, I touch right. on something else that I saw in the, in, in the movie, which I thought was really special? And you talk about a culture. Uh, th there's some magic in there, like there's the snort of, uh, of yes. the woman's breath coming out when she's disdainfully oh, yes. looking yes. at, yes. you know, the, the other mother. And then there's the, the, the um, stick that he picks yes. up that's hot, but she can pick it up and it's not. And I, and I really loved that. That gave it, I, I don't know, it gave and it a little worldly. I always find in, in Māori storytelling that uh, the way that we can shift into a, a spiritual or realm of wairua is very natural yeah. and very easy. And of course, it, it's always there. And of course, when you're dealing with one of the um, writers was Briar Grace Smith, and it's, a, it's, it's something that she has in all her work. So it was something that naturally came into, into the film that we can, that there is, there is, there is spirit around us. Yeah. There, is, there, there is more than actually just, you know, the material. Yeah. And I would suspect that everybody involved with this movie and in particular the eight directors that um, helped piece it together must be immensely proud of this piece we of work. We are actually, yeah. I think. Oh, yeah. You should think, be. Yeah, you yeah. Should, they should be. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, honestly, I'd be very lucky quite, to and see And then of course yeah. every movie is one shot. Which is an story which you That's almost forget right. about yeah. at the end, right. don't you? Yeah. Like, yeah. You just saw a movie made with eight shots. Which is amazing. Is it, okay. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, that just puts it on a whole new level. No, well done. Awesome yeah. work. Loved Thank it. you so much, yeah. Kate. Awesome. Now, Wauru will have its world premiere as part of the NZ International Film Festival at the ASB Waterfront Theatre on August 2nd and 6th. Plus, the directors will be available for a Q&A after both screenings. For details, go to nziff.co.nz. Yes, I'm sure you will hear more about Oh, yes. uh, fantastic. Thank you, Kate. Right, here we go, here. Holly. Uh, thank you. Now, if you do, make sure you go and see that movie, Wadu. It is an incredible film.